Hello. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> Finally is starting to feel like spring. Good morning, Ellen. <clears throat> Good morning, a snip of goodness. Can never have too much of that. Hi, Anita. Hi, Gail. How are you guys? <clears throat> it's going to be beautiful here in Pennsylvania today, like 69 or 70 degrees. We haven't felt that in so long, and it was like freezing cold, I think, when I went for my walk on Monday. I think it was like in the 30s, so it's going to be so, so nice. We might go do the rail trail later on this afternoon. I would love to do that. Hi to Argentina. Oh, how fun is that? Hi, Carol. Hi, Julie. Hi, Judy. Hi, Annie. Sometimes when I get up on Wednesday mornings, I honestly think, oh, I'm so tired. Like, I don't know. I have to get ready. I have to go paint. And then I get myself here, and now I'm excited to be here. It's that way with doing art any old time. I'm always excited to do it once it's time to start creating. It just feels so good, doesn't it? So I was, um, couldn't decide what to paint. Last night I went to bed, um, Jackie had sent me some photos and I was thinking about painting um, cherry, not cherry blossoms. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called right now. But I, good morning, Lori, how are you? Good morning, sunshine, hi, Rosemary. Um, so anyway, I went on a whole 360 because my brain keeps wanting to paint gray today. I don't know why, but you gotta follow those crazy notions. So we're gonna paint some gray today and make our own gray. So I'm gonna turn this around. So I had taken this photo in New Hope probably a year or two ago. Um, it's actually on my friend Glenn's front uh, front porch. It's um, a gray uh, wood and I just laid the flowers out and photographed them. I take so many photos, like a ridiculous amount, like my computer's mad at me for having too many photos. So it's like, I can't throw them away because I go back and I find things that I wanna paint. And if I were an organized person, I would find a way to organize them all, but I don't, I don't know how to do that. Hello to India. What time is it in India? All right, I have a sip of my coffee. And I'll try to watch here. Okay, so I have a little bit of sun coming in too, which is a fabulous problem to have. Hi, Nancy. All right. Yeah, organize. Organize. That's not a word I even understand. I, I wish, and I've spent a pretty good amount of my life trying to be organized. Much to my father's dismay, he tried to make me be very tidy and organized, but I just don't know how to do it. I don't understand it. It's not the way I think. And I don't know how to get there from here. Although I will never stop trying. Sometime it might it might just fall into place, you know. Like anything else, if you want to learn something badly enough and you just keep trying after a while, you're like... And I feel like that sometimes with painting. Do you ever do that? Like there's a concept or something that you can't quite get. And you just keep trying and trying and trying. And it can be the simplest thing. Like warm and cool colors. Which isn't really that simple, but... Oh, good, Nancy. I'm glad. Hi, Mary. Good morning, Donna. Happy birthday. DMK Net, it's her birthday. It's my cousin, Donna. Very fun. Wish I was there to have a drink with you today to celebrate. I'll see you soon, though. <clears throat> when are we coming to see you? I'm going to go help her with some stuff at her house. Donna lives in New Jersey. She has Pities and Pals Rescue. I probably heard, you've heard me talk about them before, but um, it's a wonderful uh, rescue for dogs. It was always her dream to do that, just like it's kind of my dream about doing the whole art thing. And she's made it a reality, and the dogs are very, very lucky that she has. She's rescued many pups. <laughs> What am I thinking of? I need a shadow, kind of dark area. We're macro organizers. Throw it in a basket 
<laughs> it's easy to put away. Well, and if I put it away, I don't, I lose it. Like I totally forget to ever take care of it. I find things sometimes that I've tucked away and I'm like, oh, how fun is that? Although, you know, I guess I should go with that whole theory that if I'm meant to be working on it or thinking about it, it'll show back up because it really does work that way. So maybe I just need to hide things in a closet, hide things away so they're not in the way. And when I'm meant to work on them, they'll come back out all by themselves. Lonnie says, Donna, we're birthday buddies. Happy birthday, Lonnie. Oh, did you grow up in New Jersey? Where did you grow up? Donna's in, in Jackson, New Jersey. <laughs> These birthday girls. And when is today's the 10th of March? <clears throat> just realized I can't hear my music. Oh, well, I don't have to worry about you hearing my music then, right? So I went, I bought more of this paper because I am loving painting on the paper. And I am experimenting with um, different ways of framing works on paper. Um, my I have my framer. She ordered a couple different frames for me, and I want to play with some different techniques for framing, which will be fun. I'll probably drive her crazy, but she's always a good sport. When I come up with ideas, she helps me. And um, yeah, so I went. Oh, I went to my office yesterday and trimmed these out because I have you know from when I was in college, I have uh, you know. Uh, drawing table up, up at my office and I like I just feel more comfortable doing things on the table like that <clears throat> so where's everybody from I think we may have some new friends on here today I'm going to try to only use this big brush today. I'm not going to go for the small one at all. Which keeps it fun. Washington, D.C. Boston. Texas, Michigan. <clears throat> South Florida. Beautiful and warm in Florida, right? From the UK, Minnesota, Kathy, oh, Katie, Texas. Hi, Chris. Saudi Arabia, wow, that's so cool. Wisconsin, New Jersey. A lot of New Jerseyers on here. I hope Donna stayed on to get all of her happy birthday. She said she always tunes in to see how my paintings start and then she'll go do other things and come back to see how they turn out. She's always shocked how different they look from the beginning to the end, which is kind of fun. Ontario, Canada. Gail said. Maryland. I missed the very beginning. Is this watercolor acrylic? Oh, uh, Corinne, it's um, oil. It just, some, my oil paintings kind of always start out looking a little more like watercolor. That's a little dark, I think. I need some purple in there. Purple's strong. Strong, strong. <clears throat> Your blue, yes, they, the colors. So I, I um, use Zest It. It's a medium that thins the colors out in this first layer. And it does look very much watercolorish. That's what I love. And the paper, too, adds to its watercolor look. That's a good start. Um, Amy, I use a medium called Zest It. Um, there it is. I'm, I'm looking at what you're writing and not what I'm holding in front. Oh, is this? Um, you know what? I just heard that it. They. I always would get it at Rosemary Brushes, but they don't carry it anymore. 
Um, so I have to research that. I'm sure we can get it other places. I just, I'm not sure. As I forgot that they, someone told me that. <clears throat> I don't know why they're not carrying it. Maybe it's too hard for them to ship. I don't know. But it can be a problem shipping these things. Okay, let me do some of my... Oh, Jackson Art, thank you, Lonnie. You guys always have my back. I forget everything. Let me see. Okay, I have a lot of sun coming in. Is the paper textured? Yes, it is. It's just like a chill. It's Arch's oil paper. I think it probably feels exactly the same as the watercolor paper. I, um, I've had a dropsy morning. I was accidentally started photographing something on my mantle this morning and spilled um, <clears throat> the flowers over because the painting I had behind them fell over. Like I've and I've dropped like twelve things already this morning. Oh yes, I Corinne, I did. I just sewed the paper first. <laughs> you you would laugh. I have like a million because I had cut more paper out yesterday. I have them all over my studio, everywhere. I have pieces of this paper that I've started to gesso. There's something so calming about doing that. I love the phase of gessoing the paper, or like behind me I have, I'm gonna start a new large painting, hopefully this weekend. But it's, I don't know, it's like therapeutic or something to just have a, add gesso to paint white. So I was doing some abstracts too, because in my um, inspiring art um, collective, which is open now if anybody wants to join, I'm super excited about it. It's a membership group. I don't know if you guys all already know about it, but um, it's a membership group where we're going to do fun things each month. Um, and actually, everyone who joins now is a founding member, and I'd love to have everyone kind of contribute to what it becomes. Um, it'll be a fun space. So the first thing we're going to do are these bookmarks. Let me show you. And it'll be different things. We're going to do things like oil painting lessons, acrylic lessons, things like that. But just as something fun that I had been working on, this is, um, I was playing with these acrylic paintings that I love doing. I just did two. It's like when I, when I, and then we're going to make these bookmarks. Aren't they fun? I have, there's, and actually I posted them in my story and I sold a few of them already and they're not even for sale. How fun is that? <clears throat> oh, good, Laura. Yay. Good, Betsy. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, I can't wait to see the... I did look through a little bit. I looked through the Facebook group to see what everyone posted, which is so fun. I'm very, very excited about this. It's going to be wonderful. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And you know how, like, things just... Sometimes it's scary to just take that leap of faith and say, yep, yep, I'm doing it. But... But... I did it, and I'm super excited about it. <clears throat> Hi, Gashi. Nancy, Nancy said, I've been trying to catch up buying supplies to join. Oh, good. And you don't need things. Like, you can just, um, you know, use whatever you have. Even if I'm teaching oils and you only have acrylics, like, you just kind of modify and play around with what you have. All right, I'm having a sip of coffee. I set it for lunch party next Friday. Yay, good. All right, and I have Isabel, my daughter is, look at all the sun coming in, isn't that fabulous? Might be a little harder to see, but <clears throat> all for the sake of some sunshine is fine with me. Nancy says, oh, you have nothing. Oh, well, that's an exciting place to start. Well, if, are you in, Nancy, are you doing the inspiring art if you are there's a list there of acrylics and oil paints and I'm trying to think you could start with whichever one you want to start with you don't have to get all the stuff <clears throat> my 
nice, dark, dark, dark. Hi, Maria, how are you? <clears throat> Clean my little thing off here. <clears throat> I have to use the things I have because you're in Honduras. Are you back in Honduras? Yeah, just use whatever you have on hand. So they have completely different art supplies there. But yes, buying supplies is a lot of fun. What time do you start painting in the morning? Well, today I start at 8 o'clock, but normally I'd be almost finished at 8 o'clock. <clears throat> because I, I have a, a design and marketing business, and I try to get to work at that by 8.30. So a lot of days I get up at 5.00. <clears throat> Well, I'm glad you're here now, Maria. Yeah, I usually get up, I try to get up at five-ish, which is crazy. And, um, I'm thinking about what color I'm mixing here. I'm usually painting by six. I probably paint from like six to 7.30 or 6.30 to 7.30. It all depends, because now, my husband's been working out next to my art studio. So I kind of wait until he's finished and off to school before I come start painting. <clears throat> he's getting his first COVID shot on Saturday. <clears throat> Have you guys had yours? Um, will you be painting on Wednesday as well as your new? Yeah, Joy, I think I'm going to do both because I love this Wednesday group. My husband asked me that, too. I don't see any reason to stop doing this unless no one comes by to watch. Then I'll stop. Or unless I get too busy. But I could even take a couple weeks off if I had to. Yeah, I do have a full plate coming up. but It's all fun stuff, so that's okay. Become a morning, yeah. Sometimes I guess it's hard to become a morning person if you're naturally not a morning person. I think I just am naturally, I'm fresh in the morning. If I was doing this in at night, like when I do art stuff, good, Anita, that's wonderful that you had both of them, both shots. Rosa says, I've had my first dose, the second is due, middle of March. Do you save your lives on IG or Facebook? Uh, uh, my, I save, I have them on my YouTube channel. And I also post them with a link on my on my website, so you can get to them either way. I want to get to mix up a fun green too. You got your two shots, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I need to look into it because there was a question on there about if you take care of someone that's older, and and I do a lot for my mother-in-law. She doesn't live with me, but I'm one of her. And caretakers, so I don't know. They sent me a thing that I could be uh, able to soon. Did you finish your pink cow? <laughs> Jim, I don't know where I put it. Um, I lost it. I have to look for it. I was really close. Like, I had to go around one more inch worth. And totally, I must have put it away. It must be in the drawer in my living room. I have to look. <laughs> I love that pink. Yes, I love that pink yarn. So pretty. But thanks for reminding me. I should really get that out and finish it. <clears throat> Is that too bright? Let me see that. Mm -hmm. I need to desaturate, so I'm going to put just a little red in there. Wait, no, I probably put too much in, yes. That is not what I wanted. So I'll put that over here. <clears throat> are you an avid knitter? I love, I used to, I shouldn't say, I used to knit a lot when I was young, before I, had, actually when my kids were little, I knit sweaters, in college I knit sweaters, so I love to knit, I just don't, um, I just don't um, have the time, but I think that's something I will do. My friend Renee, who has Bella Mance, um, cake. She does a lot of knitting and it's all beautiful. <clears throat> okay, I have to look for it. 
on the eye would totally lose that. Okay, let me think what color I wanna make my gray. So I got this new color. <clears throat> um, my friend Shelby was talking about it in an acrylic color, Van Dyke Brown. So I bought it, love to play. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Knitting is so much fun. I love all those things. So I'm playing, I'm gonna put a little Van Dyke Brown and see. It seems to be kind of a grayish brown a little bit. Kind of good to neutralize colors and stuff. I think I just told a story that went in a bad circle. It's asking for business cards. Like that's a really pretty color, but I don't have enough. I need to make more of that. That's just Van Dyke Brown, that um, blue that I love. I need to get some more of that. And some of this um, blue hue was manganese blue hue. Small brochure or something for help. Oh. More requests. <clears throat> now that'll be pretty when that picks up the color from underneath. That's good. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I like that. Maybe I should. I'm just going to add a little of this brighter blue in there. Give it a little more, <clears throat> like a little pile. It's just, that no, didn't quite do it. A little more vivid. That's nice. You can hardly see the difference. It's because there's so much light coming in. Can you see, like this is a little brighter, has a little bit more of that brighter blue in, and that's a nice gray. So I think that's a good start for the colors. That might be all I need. I'm gonna just use a big brush, and I'm gonna try and keep it really, really loose. That always seems to be the paintings that, that catch my attention the most. Um, I like the blue, yes, I like that blue gray too. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. sneezes. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, I like that blue-gray. Let's put some in. Oh, I didn't do a shadow color. I'm going to just take some of that blue-gray and add some blue into it. A little bit more brown. Make it a little darker. I should make it a little darker. <clears throat> Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the bless all these blessings. I'm gonna have a fabulous day. <clears throat> and spread the word too, if you know of anyone who would enjoy inspiring art, who it would be fun to have in our group that you think would benefit or enjoy it, um, let them know. Because <clears throat> the more the merrier. Good. A four sneezer. I'm not usually, I'm usually right on three, but I had extra sneezes in me today for sure. I might have to have, it might be a two coffee day for me today. bit of dark up there too. Uh oh, someone's doing work outside. I hear a saw. I wonder what it is. <clears throat> Sign of spring, sunshine, flowers, and sneezes. Well, that's true. You're right about that, Allie. And I never have, um, like, allergies, but they say you can develop them as you get older. I 
hope not. My daughter Emily has allergy issues and it's, it's just no fun. I want to really think about how to keep them forward on my page. There's some shadow over there. <clears throat> Signs of spring, it is. And the sun coming in here is just makes my heart happy. It's, I feel like winter's lasted way too long, even though I don't think it's any longer than it ever is. But it's never, it's always too long, right? But going through a winter really makes you appreciate spring when it actually comes. It is the best feeling. Always reminds me of like when I was young, I have such fond memories that my, my mom used to always like make me Easter dresses to wear on Easter Sunday. We don't have any of those quite same traditions anymore. A special dress for Easter. <clears throat> it felt long, Allie. It did feel longer this year. <laughs> Ellen, yeah, I guess we should all have allergies living in Lancaster. You're right. You are right. But I don't usually. I haven't been smelling much manure yet, but I know that's coming. It's a sure sign of spring in Lancaster County is when you smell the cow manure being spread on the fields. Anita, you have them allergies too. Oh, what's everybody working on today? Is anybody working on anything fun and exciting? Anyone painting anything today? Something about the way it looks right now that I love it. Hi, Megan. Thank you. Lancaster County is in Pennsylvania. So Anita lives in Reading, which is, is just north of here. And um, Ellen lives really close to me, like five minutes away. Tulips. Oh, joy. That sounds like fun. Playing on wood panels. Betsy, that sounds like fun. Working during the day and painting the landscape tonight. Great, Megan. Your card no with the scarf. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Gotta go. See you in the collective. Bye, Maria. Have a great day. <clears throat> Mary's working. Yes, that's what I'll be doing too, Mary. Me too. Working. I'm working on a couple fun things though, so I don't mind it. I love these colors peeking through, so I want to try and keep some of that, and not hide them all. <clears throat> oh, Laura, that sounds fun. A bouquet of flowers. I'm listening to you at work. Oh, great, Shelly. You always squeeze me in while you're working. That's good. I've been at your work on Zoom meetings, I think. I 
They look like they're coming forward by taking my son to school. Goodbye, Lexi. Enjoy that time taking your son to school. That's fun. I get rid of that big patch of purple, even though I love it in there. Bye, Diane. Have a great day. So cute. I feel like I'm sending my kids off to school. Have a good day. I haven't heard from Izzy yet. She hasn't come looking for me. <clears throat> we were prom dress shopping last weekend for her, for Isabel. It's so hard because they're just having like, it's not quite like a real prom. They're just a friend's having a party at their house and they're all still dressing up and doing all the things. But, oh, <clears throat> oh no. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. Okay, I said bye to Diane. Megan said, I have the same feeling watching you that when I watched Bob Ross, he was my hero. <laughs> Calming to watch. Oh, good, Megan. I love, some people told me, one of my uh, friends that I did a little um, mentoring thing with, she said when she can't sleep at night, she gets up and watches me paint. <laughs> Made me laugh. And, and the even funnier thing is I'm not really a very calm person, but I am calm when I'm painting, I got to say. It makes me happy to do this. <laughs> it's cute. Maybe I should, I'm the one that I can't sleep. Like, I have terrible time sleeping. Maybe I should put on me painting while I'm trying to sleep. I'll put myself to sleep watching it. It's kind of cute. Um, Jane said, are you still mixing in Zest It Now? No, Jane, I'm just using paint, the paint that I mixed over here on the side straight out of the tube. No Zest It. Just whatever's already on here. It kind of picks up the colors that are underneath, which... I love. I was trying to figure out a lesson kind of thing to do where, um, like, I could do it in a few days, but I, I couldn't figure it out because I really like this method. And if you even let that underpainting dry for a few days, it, um, it gets too dry to be malleable or something it's like working into something stiff and I just couldn't make it work what time is it 8 33 we're ahead of schedule today I love that and I'm doing I'm, my goal is to do the whole painting with this one paintbrush something on my brush but I think that's okay <clears throat> pretty it feels like it's coming forward Ellen said when you do a large painting, do you paint the layers in one section and later? Yeah, well, Ellen, I still haven't quite figured that out. <clears throat> um, so I've been doing all one layer. I do everything, I'll cover the whole thing, and then it dries for a while just because I don't have time to paint that much. And then I make the whole thing kind of wet again, like with walnut oil or something, and then go back into it. But I did buy myself these two fun things. 
<clears throat> to try on the big one that I have behind me. I have two, two brushes that are wider. This one looks like it might have the same kind of edge as this, but be twice, twice as big. So that's gonna be fun. And then this, I don't know what I'm gonna think of that. And then I got another one who, Joy was telling me about these brushes. I got this to try too. It's a little wider. It's called um, a red dot and see that's larger. So that's what I'm gonna play with hopefully this weekend to see, see what happens. there. I know, Joy, thanks for telling me about them. Joy wrote to me and said, I heard you talking about your brush. Someone else just did that too. What What else? I was talking about something else the other day that I couldn't figure out, and someone just wrote to me this morning and gave me an idea. I love that. I have all these little details and I'm trying to do it with a large paintbrush. And move it. Yeah, it's fun to, to let the paint kind of dance. It sounds like a crazy thing, but that's my goal. Just to kind of put down brush strokes and just let, let that kind of magic happen. My background. No, I like my background, I think. Deciding if it's too dark but I think I like it. Are any of you guys in Emily's? Oh, Chloe, it's oil paint. Are any of you guys in Emily's Making Art Work course? I hope you're enjoying it. My goal is to work through it all again. I've done it before, but I want to do it all again. I started watching it night before last as I was going. I shouldn't do it, but it's the time that I have to do it. I sit and do my learning when, it's, when I get in bed. and <clears throat> Oh, good. Terry Hall, good. Good, Megan. Oh my gosh, it is. She, Emily's amazing. She really is. She's so inspiring. She's helped so many artists, like, just have a different perspective on their art and creating. And it's wonderful. And Laura, good, Ellen. Yay, yay. Yes, so, oh, I was saying I, I fall asleep in the middle of watching it, but I should do it over the weekend. I think I'll have a little free time or home all weekend. So working on module one. Good. Yes, I need to do it too. And then, and I need a refresher of all of it, even though I've done it all. It's still <clears throat> good to think about because you don't, you learn things and then you forget things. Do you know what I mean? Like I do anyway, like I'll learn something and be like, oh yeah. Oh, I was talking about, I was talking about learning and how all of a sudden a concept will completely make sense. And it's like, how was I grappling with that for so long? And it, now it makes complete sense. But that's how learning works, I guess. Just have to keep trying. And <clears throat> that is a really good thing about art because there's always new concepts, new things to explore, things to play with. And like I said with this Inspiring Art Collective, I'm excited because all the things that I always want to, to play around with and explore and <clears throat> learn about and do, I have a reason to do it now. Instead of thinking, oh, I should be <coughs> doing something else. So I have used two, I've been playing around with varnishes on these um, panels. And when I spray my other panels, my, I usually use this gloss varnish spray, I really like it. But I also, experimenting 
with this too, this Demar varnish. It's um, one of the Chelsea comp, um, products. Like my, this is the brush cleaner. I like. I use clean my palette with that. Thanks, Joy. <clears throat> Okay, so now I have to think of my little splashes of fun. And Good morning, Emily. How are you? Thank you. Anything new, Em? I talked to you last night. I might just leave it kind of like that. I like how that looks with kind of that purple in there. I like the blue showing through. Maybe I need a little bit more of the lightest light kind of yellow in here. Make sure I don't have too much on my brush. <clears throat> yeah, I love the lavender in there. It's fun, isn't it? Peeking through. I hold my breath when I do these strokes. It's crazy. And I love that blue popping through up in there, too. Joanne, so I have two different things coming up. I have um, a membership group called Inspiring Art, and that's open for enrollment today, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then I'll probably open it up again for enrollment in August. <clears throat> and it's a monthly membership, so you pay each month, and I'll have create new content each month to share. And we'll do all kinds of different things, like some of it will be painting, but anything creative, anything that inspires and and um, motivates you to paint, so paint or create or whatever. It could be any kind of artist, really. Um, and then I also have an oil painting course called Art in Bloom, and that's will open for registration um, next month, the middle of April. I'm getting all that ready to release. And that's a six-week course that <clears throat> you have access to it, um, for as long as you need it, but it's a six week course where you um, do six different oil, floral oil painting lessons. And a lot of the people on here have done it. <clears throat> well, that looked good. Thanks, Care Bear. Bright yellow. Yeah, those little kisses at the end make such a big difference. It's hard being patient and doing it at the end. But I find if I don't wait till the end, then, then they kind of get lost somehow. I don't know why. That to be more of an edge. See anything else I need? Um, this is the little I need to do. Uh, maybe I need a little purple. Don't you think I need a little lavender? I do. <clears throat> Thank you, Allie. <clears throat> Gosh, okay, what else? I need a little bit more of my bright green. My green got a little muted. Right in there. Ellen said the other class we we're talking about is a selling course called, oh, thank you, Ellen. Thanks, yes, we were talking about Emily Jeffords' Making Art Work course, too. All these fun things to learn. Where 
do you think? Am I done? Do I need any more dark, dark areas? Um, I think I need to do a little kiss of something fun up in here. I think I kind of neglected this, and this is a focal point. Let me do a little bit in there. The lavender did it. Yep, it needed that little kiss of lavender. Do you think this is too messy down here? Uh, maybe. Let me see. Do I need a little more highlight here? A little more of a highlight here? I totally ignored these stems, didn't I? Let me clean my brush off and maybe fix that area a little bit. <clears throat> a little too random, I think. Hmm. Do you see anything else? Do they look like they're coming forward? Yeah, that, I needed that white, that lighter um, green on there, didn't I? Definitely. Needed that. I have some stuff showing through here. Okay, now I think I'm fussing with it the way I say, you know, when you get to that point, you just have to put your brush down, sign the painting, and say you're finished. Because I'll fuss with it. Oh, how fun looked that. I didn't even think about that. That's purple. I love that. Ooh, whoops. Let me show it to you. Look, my signatures. The purple showing through. So that's how it turned out. And there's my reference. And then there's my palette. And wait, how I turn this around here. And here's me. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning. It was really fun. I had fun. If you have any questions about my courses or anything coming up, just send me a message. I'd be happy to answer. And um, yeah. So I will see you guys. At boom. Yeah, that, just like that's time to go to work. Yeah. It's funny. And I always feel like at the end of the day on a Wednesday, I feel like I painted like five days ago it feels like forever like the from this point of the day until the end of the day although I feel like time goes fast go figure I don't understand it but I hope you guys all have a wonderful day I hope you have great weather wherever you are and and you're thinking spring and I'll see you next week so bye thanks for coming have fun